Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, shit. Fuck. You know, fucking shit. Fucking, you know. <laughs> Led Zeppelin 2 comes to mind. It could have been one of those first records I bought or stole. <laughs> Probably the most inspiring record for me around the time that I started playing guitar was the Aerosmith Rocks record. That was really pivotal for me, sort of like attitude wise, where I was like, okay, I'm gonna pursue this. You know? Wild Thing from Jimi Hendrix. Space Trucking from Deep Purple. Those are like some of the first riffs I remember. It sounds sort of corny at this point, but the riff that garnered me the most recognition it would have to be Sweet Child of Mine. And it's a cool riff, you know, but I'm thinking more of in terms of what other people think. <laughs> The Great Pretender, only because it was very different. It had a very different feel to it, a different kind of a cadence, and trying to figure out exactly what the right drum beat was going to be for it, and just to make sure that it had the right feel throughout. It was definitely uh, a concentration as compared to some of the other songs on the record. Great Pretender, there will come a day. There's two, either Lenny Kravitz, Or e pop. Collaborating with those two guys was definitely a lot of fun. Probably be White Stripes, but then I don't think that's much of a surprise. There's a song called Come Dancing on the Jeff Beck record Wired. I mean, there's so many great guitar solos, but that one was one that I remember picking up on when I was a kid and going, man, this is fucking awesome. I'll go with the last record because that's just the thing I'm conscious of at the moment. There's a song called When You Lose the One You Love, and there's a solo in that that I think is really cool, and it was very spontaneous. The I think it was Eric Satie, Satie, which I just bought, because I lost the vinyl, so I bought the CD. Off the top of my head right now, The Thing, that John Carpenter theme from The Thing, one of the fucking greatest, at least in the horror genre. There's so many good soundtracks, and when you ask me these questions, I space out, I can't think of anything. Probably that fucking church for the November Rain video. I mean, that was a pretty cool location. It was just a movie set from Silverado. That sort of out in the middle of nowhere with that church was pretty cool. Oh, fucking Barry White, come on. <laughs> um, Girl, I need your blood. 